Okay, today what we're shooting, um, if Amy wants to go in a little bit closer, we brought the twins with us. And there's one thing different between these two guns right here. One is a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum and one is a 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum. We're gonna compare the power between the two. And then we also brought our 40 caliper Taurus with a GTO laser on it. Um, we're gonna have our teenager shoot a couple of targets with that. We're trying to teach her how to shoot a gun and protect herself. So we're gonna see how she does with the semi-automatic 40 caliper. So we're gonna get some targets set up downfield. We brought splatter targets and then human body targets. We're gonna get them set up. And we also put some two liters um, full of pop just for fun. So we're gonna get set up and we will be right back. Ready to shoot? Technically speaking. <laughs> okay, so uh, like I said, we're gonna be shooting our 40 caliper, our 40 Smith & Wesson, or sorry, Taurus. Uh, obviously we're gonna load both clips up for that, for our semi-automatic. And then we're gonna also use uh, our Hornady uh, ammo for both our 500 and our 460. 460 is 200 grain, 500 we're going to be shooting is 300 grain. So we're going to compare the power between Here both of them. One of the targets we're going to be shooting towards. We've got it set up with the uh, splatter and uh, pop These bottle. These two are about 100 yards from where we're actually set up. And we're going to be shooting for those two. And just kind of to scale the bullets okay. for you. This is actually the 500, the Smith & Wesson 500 actually shoots a 50 caliber bullet. Uh, very powerful. This gun here, it, it really hurts your hand and it's more because whenever it kicks, the bottom of the trigger guard right here slams against my finger, especially if you have wet hands or sweaty hands from, uh, you know, shooting it. So it's a very powerful gun. The 460 is a little bit less powerful. Um, still packs as much of a punch, but this one here will be lucky to shoot, uh, 10 bullets out of it. Anyways, we're ready. So I believe what we're gonna do is I'll start and I'm gonna shoot this 460 and I'm gonna go for probably one of these water bottles. So, and also the thing about this gun is the trigger is very sensitive. So you don't even wanna put your finger near this trigger until you're actually ready to shoot. And it is a double action revolver. <laughs> it didn't blow up. <laughs> well, we got one out of five. I'm going to try to hit the bottle from here. Uh, this is actually the 500 Smith & Wesson. Oh. It hurts your hand bad, doesn't it? That's why I said I'm never shooting that thing again. Whew. Trinity is going to try and hit. You can go for your bottle if you want. You just slowly pull it? Yep. There you go. Make sure you're aiming. Almost. It doesn't have anything left. Here. Just, and if you sit down, you can aim a little bit better. See? You can kind of put your hand below it like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and Amy now is going to try to hit the target. Target? Yeah. Oh, 
Target or bottle? I would go for a bottle. Hold on, can I move? I don't want to get hit in the face with a bullet. Almost. Okay, so we're gonna close this video out with the 460 Smith & Wesson. I'm gonna go for both of those uh, splatter targets. And then we'll walk down range and see what I actually hit. And then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, let's walk down and see, see we've we done did. a great job of completely destroying the <laughs> everything but the targets. <laughs> um, I hit one and I've got to train myself on that gun a little bit because they're so powerful and the kick is so enormous and then what it actually, uh, the repercussion of it whenever you shoot it, uh, it just blasts you in the face and it causes me to uh, blink every time I shoot it. So that's a lot of what the inaccuracy is about. But anyways, we just wanted to show you guys uh, how powerful those were, and we will see you next time. Thanks.